everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Modded Playthrough. And today, my friends, marks the first episode of where the fun really begins in this series. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the first episode of Terraria Calamity in Death Mode, Master Mode, Hard Mode all the modes. But uh, yeah, welcome back my friends. I really do hope you guys are having a lovely day. An enormous thank you for all of your lovely support in the last episode. It was a chonker of an episode. 34 minutes. One of the longest episodes I've done in a while certainly. But uh, yeah, guys I had a goal and I was determined to achieve it. And then today we're actually going to start off with the comment of the day because it's something that I want to give a go pretty quick like here. We've got Snake or Sneak who says Hi Python with the recipe browser you can alt click items in it and a little menu with the recipe will appear near the mini map. I wanted to give this a go because there are some things I wanted to do in today's episode that does require quite a lot of grinding. You may recognize this particular crafting recipe that I've got already in the uh, recipe browser here. If I was to type in the word tackle or part of it and we do a little bit of an alt click, check this out my friends. We now have the ability to track everything we need for our crafting goals. The first crafting goal we are going to go for is the lava proof tackle bag. Then after that, if we have the resources available to us, we're going to go for the supreme bait tackle box fishing station of epicness. One of the first things I made in my previous calamity playthrough as well, because why would you not? You could become a fishing master. And it'll be a lovely time. So yeah, today my friends, not only are we going to be going for these things, but we're also going to make ourselves just sort of a general start in hard mode here. So my friends, if all of that sounds like your cup of tea, then please do be sure to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Can we get 500 likes for the first episode in hard mode here? That would be lovely. Hit the subscribe button, of course, if you're new around here. And if you want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. So then the lava proof tackle bag that should actually be a pretty simple goal to go for all we need to do is buy ourselves the height oh i don't have any money well, that's a bit of a bummer isn't it all right well uh, i guess we're gonna go ahead and uh, take down the wall of flesh a few more times then i mean i do kind of need to do that anyway so we can get ourselves the master mode drop for this uh, display area here then we've got that done then we probably won't have to take down the wall of flesh again my friend so then we're getting ourselves down to the underworld here and we are going to do this thing maybe a few more times i don't really know how many times we're gonna have to do this hopefully it won't be massively much the good news is this time we have ourselves an additional accessory and therefore additional damage with the ranger emblem here so uh, yeah all in all this should be should be an easier time and ladies and gentlemen with absolute ease this time we managed to take him down and i do believe that i did just see it the goat skull <laughs> hey we've got the master mode drop already lovely stuff whoa that's a lot of stuff we've got the firecracker hey that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's be honest. The main article of the matter, the goat skull. Yeah, we got it pretty quick. And look at this. We managed to take this guy down really freaking quickly. Like this is where the first one was taken down just before the center area where sort of the end of our buff stations area was. And uh, yeah, this is where we took him down this time. Additional damage. What can I say? All right. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and uh, finish off the wall of flesh's display area with the goat skull. Yeah, and there we have it. The first boss in hard mode is going to be Queen Slime. So yeah, should be a pretty interesting thing. Uh, I don't think we're going to get that done in today's episode. As much as I'm trying to sort of quicken up the progression rate in the series, I do think that there's going to be a good amount of stuff that I want to get done before I start on the hard mode bosses. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. But look at this, guys. We've also got ourselves the Meow Thrower. Fires pink and blue flames. 85% chance not to consume gel. Wow. That is a hell of a potential upgrade to the Shade Thrower, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, literally the first reforge. 92 damage, 33% crit chance. That is a hefty, hefty upgrade. Probably worth mentioning, we also got ourselves the Clockwork Assault Rifle, and it is indeed a material. I'd quite like to see what it's a material for. The Clock Gatlignum. Uh, what? Okay. Requires the Gatligator, the Venus Magnum, the Clockwork Assault Rifle, Life Alloy. Don't even know where you make that or how you make it. What is this? Perennial Bar, Scoria Bar, Cryonic Bar. Later down the line we get that, I imagine. Ah, interesting. Check this out, guys. It turns out the Black Hawk Remote is also a material. 
What it's a material for remains to be seen. Okay, Ancient Manipulator. So it's going to be at least Moon Lord tier. Wow, the Tactical Plague Engine. <laughs> oh yeah, for any of you guys wondering why I don't have a great deal of money anymore, I decided to purchase a few new permanent buffs. Uh, and well, as you can see, we have them all in my inventory here. We've got Yarim Stimulant, amongst other things. Rage, Wrath, Inferno, Life Force as well. So actually, we've got 480 health right now. We've got a lot of things going on, my friend. And it's all in the pursuit of having epic stuff, basically. So uh, yeah, we're going to need all three of these things. That should allow us to make ourselves the tackle bag by itself then we need ourselves a lava proof fishing hook the good news is though it turns out you can make a lava proof fishing hook you can get it from crates or alternatively you can use a shell and 10 hellstone bars why would i not do that that seems like a pretty dang simple thing to do oh yeah here it is my friends the lava proof fishing hook so now we have some fun times there's the angler tackle bag there's the lava proof tackle bag yeah all right so that's one thing taken care of and it looks like it's automatically deselected it or unfavorited it from the recipe browser that's pretty useful i appreciate that one modded uh but yeah here we go we need souls of night and light and i can think of no better way of getting an early supply of souls of night and light than to destroy some altars so it turns out we have a sitting ducks fishing pole the bad news oh wait is it bad news oh no i can buy it i've literally got five gold coins left that's all I've got. I'm going to have to take down even more bosses, aren't I? Uh, but yeah, check this out. I can actually buy the code one as well. And that literally has wiped me out of money. <laughs> the question is, do you only get souls of night from the altars? Or do you also get souls of light from them as well? All right, my friends, let's see what happens. We've got four souls of night, even more souls of night. Oh, it's only souls of night, huh? Oh, man. You're an evil smasher. What the devil is that? 143 true melee damage. <laughs> Man, that seems a bit bonkers, doesn't it? All right, well, let's keep on here. Probably worth mentioning, if you didn't realize or notice already, no, we're not getting the hard mode or spawn in because one thing the Calamity mod does is change the order in which you get ores. So we actually have to, I'm pretty sure, defeat some hard mode bosses before we start getting hard modes or spawning in. So... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? The meow thrower. And of course, it makes meow meow sounds. <laughs> I wonder if you could transmute souls of night into souls of light. Uh, I think it'd be a safer idea if we head back to base and check this out. Uh, can we do that? Is that something we can do? Can we like transmute them? It doesn't look like it, does it? Alrighty, so I guess we're going to need to do a little bit of fishing because it turns out that we do not have the full set of angler armor just yet. We have ourselves the angler hat and the angler pants. Although, with that said, can't we get fishing stuff from the desert skirts? Hang on a minute. No, we don't need to do any freaking fishing. I mean, yeah, it might be nice to get ourselves maybe a quest or two done. Uh, maybe we do a quest right now, actually. Sky Lakes. Interestingly, it doesn't appear that you can buy fishing-related potions. Hmm, now that is an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, right, what am I doing right now? I'm trying to get myself a grab potion so I can get myself up to the Sky Lake, which, by the way, there's one above us right on up here. All right, we have three fishing lures this time. Oh, snappers. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, literally. Literally the first thing we actually catch. All right. Ooh, apprentice bait and crate potions. Good or most definitely needing all of that. Ah, you see, now that we have an alchemy table, we can start making use of all of these blood orbs that we managed to get previously. Fantastic. All right, so there's all of the crate potions we need. We need, what's that, fishing potions? We can get those done as well. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely, lovely. Any other potions required? Sonar potions would be nice. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right, come on then, desert boy. What is the weight, huh? Oh my goodness me, look at that all going down. Yeah, this is going to be incredibly easy, but I think it's still... <laughs> yeah, oh, that will most certainly do it. Uh, right, what are we going to get? There's the box. Uh, oh, still no sign of the... Was it the chest plate I think we needed, right? Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite a lot of damage this thing does, eh? Very good. Go on, then. Look at that. Look at that health bar. Bye-bye! <laughs> 
Okay. It's quite possible that I'm in love with the meow thrower. Hey, there's the angler vest. All right, we finally got the bugger. So then, high-end bait and souls of light. All right, well, all we got to do then is find ourselves wherever the heck the hallowed biome is, I guess. <laughs> Presumably, if I fall down my central elevator here, I'll come across the hallowed. Ah, okay, so we got the underground crimson here, which leads me to believe that the underground hallowed's got to be on my left. Right. Ah, here we are, my friends. I was right. Go to the left-hand side and bada-bing, bada-boom. We do have ourselves an underground hallow. Lovely. Oh, interesting. We found ourselves one of these uh, underground houses again. All right, so we've got a chest in here, and it's got not a lot, actually. Suspicious scrap, a bunch of these here plating bits again, and, well, actually, that's about it. Not a great deal of stuff, to be honest with you. What's this again? A charging station. Hell yeah, I'm taking those. Yeah. So that just leaves the high-end bait, my friends. A new day has rolled around, so we've got ourselves another chance at getting some high-end bait from a fishing quest. So the jewel fish. Hey, second time rolling, my friends. Very, very good. All right, yet another quest to hand in. Uh, oh, okay, we've got the mermaid outfit. I guess that's kind of interesting. Another place we could potentially get high-end bait from is these crates here. More specifically, iron or higher. So, one, two, three. Oh, lovely. Lovely. We actually have it, my friends. That is it. We should now be able to make it. There it is. The Supreme Bait Tackle Box Fishing Station. We are now, ladies and gentlemen, a fishing master. <laughs> you can't get much more powerful than this. You know what I was saying about maybe not taking down a boss in today's episode? Well, we've got this Meow Thrower, and it was doing a pretty ridiculous amount of damage against some of the uh, lower-end bosses that we were taking on, right? What kind of damage would it do against a real boss? Mm? What kind of damage would it do, for example, against the very, very bad lass that is the Queen Slime? Hmm? I guess that's something we're gonna find out, isn't it? Remember, all we need to do is find one summon, and that's all we're going to need, my friends. It literally is as simple as that. We get ourselves one of the gelatin crystals, and we've got infinite spawn, so that'd be pretty cool, huh? Oh, what the heck is this? It's a crimson shrine, ladies and gentlemen. I had no idea those existed. Or did I? I might have just forgot, to be honest with you, my friends. Wow, all right, well, I guess we're gonna see what's in there. Ooh, a crimson effigy. When placed down, nearby players will have their damage increased by 15% and defense by 10. Nearby players also suffer a 10% decrease to their maximum health. Ooh, so it's very much an offensive defensive thing, but also it harms you a little bit. I think it's really, really good that these buff stations and various other bits and bobs in this mod do have trade-offs, you know? You have to trade off having a buff with having a bit of a debuff sometimes, and I think that's really, really good. It makes the balancing of this mod very, very good. Hey guys, so check this out. Turns out we can combine quite a lot of our various crafting stations together, right? We've got the Hellforge, Alchemy Table, Tinkerer's Workshop, Imbuing Station, Dive Vat. We've got the Living Wood Loom, the Glass Kiln, Ice Machine, Honey Dispenser. Oh, good grief. That is a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. We could make this super crafting station if we really wanted to. Maybe I'll go ahead and put that on the favorites menu here. All right, best way to look for gelatin crystals is to zoom all the way out and just sort of hope for the best, I guess. I wonder what we can do against the hallowed mimic here. There's one right here. Come on now. Yeah. Ruining his day. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What did we get there? Oh, we've got the Illuminant hook. Or as I like to call it, the Illuminati hook. Oh, that's that, I guess. Oh, hey. Oh, crumbs. No. Don't kill the poor Wizzy boy. Don't do it, man. Don't. Don't be so rude. Good Lord. Come on, get out of here, you sons of guns. Come on, all y'all. Right, there's the Wizzy. Very cool. Look at the run of Discord. You could just flat out buy it. Wow. It does cost 15 platinum, though. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? A marble pylon. Dude. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So back to the gelatin crystal goal, I guess. Hey. Oh, we got the Daedalus Stormbow. Nice. Hey, guys, check this out. It actually turns out you can make the gelatin crystal. Nice. We could also make the grand gelatin as well. Ooh. 
for snappers. All right, we need the three kinds of jelly. There's the mana jelly. There's the vital jelly. Uh, wait, do we not have the red one? Or maybe it's in this one. Ah, you're seriously telling me I don't have the red jelly? Pink jellyfish is apparently where we get the life jelly from. So if we could get one or two of those dudes spawn in, that would be lovely. I wonder if there's anything down in this sort of additional section of the ocean. It goes down very, very deep, doesn't it? Uh, right, I could do with maybe just a little bit of... There we are. A little bit of breath. That's what's needed. Ah, okay. Maybe not. Eh, a bit disappointing, but uh, never mind. All is well. All we need at this point is some more of these little jelly dudes. Come on now. Hey, life jelly. That's all we needed. Oh, we need ourselves a mithril anvil there, don't we? Ah, crumbs. Oh, no. Okay, turns out you can make it here. Nice. All right. 20 max life and mana, 10% increased movement and job speed. Standing still boosts life and mana regen. This seems like a good thing to add. So now we've got 500 life if we take off the stinger necklace. Do we really want to do that though? Well, no, man. Maybe we put the stinger necklace in place of the jelly charged battery? Sure. Sure, that seems like an alright idea. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, the next thing is pink gel and some crystal shards. And then we should be able to make ourselves the gelatin crystal at, I believe, an anvil. Or a solidifier, actually, I think it said, right? Oh, I was right. It was solidifier. My memory was right for once. Would you have ever guessed that that would ever be the case? <laughs> Ultima Cake grants special effects of almost all stations simultaneously includes campfire lamps bast statue sharpening station ammo box crystal ball slice of cake and bewitching table by some unimaginable magic it will never be consumed it's a non-calamity buff item though also i can't afford it so uh, yeah that's a rather more basic reason as to why i can't get it ah cool check this out guys you could just flat out summon in mimics and hallowed mimics for that matter Ooh, very cool. Okay, right. What am I looking for? I'm looking more so for these, actually. Nice. We need, what, to get ourselves up to 20. They are a bit on the expensive side, I have to admit. But uh, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make this thing and we are going to give it a go. There it is. Non-consumable gelatin crystal. I must confess, if I manage to do this first time, I'm going to be genuinely surprised because I've had a very checkered past with Queen Slime in the past. She has literally made me rage quit an entire series once. So... Um, yes. <laughs> Presumably my halo must be sort of intersecting this jungle, right? Since the underground halo was on the left-hand side. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing has changed. Right. Okay. Uh, can we do this without an arena? I've no idea. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a burger. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Queenie. The Queenie. We're gonna... S oh, woo. Okay. She's a little bit berserk, but no matter. Yeah. Oh. That's quite a lot of projectiles she just spurted out there. Ooh. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, eh? All right. Okay. Oh. Still trying to figure out her attacks. Every now and again, she just shoots out a big old spurt of projectiles. I just got cornered. That's not great now, is it? Come on. Come on. If we could, like, get you to, like, come over here, that would be great. Yeah. All right. A little bit of rage effect. Oh, yeah. Very good. All right. Not doing too bad, eh? Okay. Still doing reasonably all right. There she goes with her projectiles again. Oh, man. I do like this meow flower. It's doing the job really nicely. Any minute now, she's going to go second phase, and that's where things start getting a little bit hairy. Okay. Come on now. You need to stay sort of reasonably within my range here. There we are. A little bit of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Okay. We actually got adrenaline there, guys. Hey, That's not bad. And some more rage. We're about to head back to base, apparently. <laughs> it turns out this is incredibly easy. Unless there is a hidden attack to be had a little bit later down the line. It's entirely possible this is death mode at the end of the day. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, come on. If we manage to do this first time without any proper preparations, then uh, surely that deserves a like rating. Come on. Oh, I almost died, though, actually. Now be careful. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> first time. Guys, 
This is supposed to be master mode, death mode, hard mode. Okay, sure. That was uh, easy as pie, actually. Wow. <laughs> we could quite easily do that again. But, my friends, I think what we're actually going to do is uh, wrap up the episode. Next episode, we will absolutely go for Queen Slime's master mode drop and whatever other drops she may have to offer. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I have no words. Like, we just did that first time without any real arena or any real preparations, to be honest with you. I like it when I can absolutely tank a freaking boss first time. Makes me feel good about myself, you know? I mean, to be honest, we're going to need to take down this gal again anyway, because we need ourselves the last bit of crystal assassin armor, don't we? Uh, and obviously the master mode drop, like I was saying. But one thing I did notice is the fact that we did not get a lore item from Queen Slime. So that is something to bear in mind. But here's the good news. We've already managed to get a mask from her. And who was the other boss who did didn't have a law item. I think it was Deerclops, wasn't it? And then, yeah, we just got ourselves sort of the mask instead. So, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with using a mask and a master mode drop for Queen Slime's uh, little display area there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode where the fun has really began in hard mode, master mode, death mode, all the modes, then please do be sure to head down below the video and drop a like if you have enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. This series is really going to start hotting up now, my friends. So do make sure you're subscribed with those bell notifications on so you don't miss out. You don't want to miss out on the episodes of the series, do you, if you're enjoying them? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!